can't even I can't even lie. We're sitting here and we're talking about the various things that are trending. Yeah, uh, too so, much. So literally, we're just gonna talk about some of these things that mm. are trending. And where do we start? I want to talk about that house and that child who mess up, mush up, dislocate, disbubble, discombobulate. I, I, I destroy. Mean, yesterday, I must have seen that video pop up Mano, 50 times. Man, everywhere I looked, it was there. <coughs> so for those folks who never saw the video, literally, uh, a boy, it was reported that he was 12 year old. Mm -hmm. His mom took his cell phone from him. Mm -hmm. And he went ballistic. When I say mash up everything, Yo, he mash up every everything in a the room. house, in a every single room. We mean TV, we're talking mirrors, we're talking tables, computer. we talk computer. The wall, the, the toilet, the toilet, bowl, the toilet. He Yo, mash I, up everything I don't think in the house. There was one solid thing there that he did not mash up. Every single thing. Listen. Yeah. Oh my God. I, uh, you know, at first, at first, I really, I didn't read the thing properly, so I thought it was the grandmother's stuff, and and the mother is complaining or something. You know, I think you know, I didn't realize that it was the actual mother until mm. I started reading the comments, mm. and then I look back at the caption on the video that I watched, mm. and I'm thinking, what did it say? What did your say? I think it said something about twelve year old. Um, destroys Hose mom's out. whatever, whatever. My mom takes a my, I mom thought it was saying like my that. mom's place. I thought it was the mother oh. talking about her twelve year old <laughs> mashing up her mother place. But I then when I go back and look at look I at it, I'm like, pressure, I think I think my, my blood pressure. Raised. I couldn't believe. I was like, huh? when I was watching it, huh? Huh? This was me. And, huh? and you hear her and the distress. I mean, I was so distressed, like. First of all, and then you know me, me start. Are the parents' fault? Oh, you cannot. Uh, that's can't what a that. lot of people were uh, saying. Like, oh like, my you god, you grew this child. So what do you mean? That means that it could you be the first a time. Demon. Prince Buster Junior. Good morning. Uh, like my picnic could have never do that. You know. Oh my god. That's what all a lot of people were saying. Of the entire house was ruined. The entire house so so the video that i saw stacy i didn't see the ethnicity do you know if it was Bajan. a black it, Bajan? yeah that's the video i saw said, you mean that's the first thing it said you mean from barbados yes are you Bajan serious mom takes phone cell phone away from 12 year old child and he destroys the house or ruin the house oh, that so was I didn't it. that's see the one that, that one. i saw Right, so, I didn't see that one. And then, yeah, and it was the clip I saw was about, it had to be like two minutes long. Our oh, was a long clip. yes, yes. Where I was like, oh my God, every every room, every part of the room did mash up. Everything mash up. I, th I saw multiple clips, but once I saw it one time, I'm like, mm -hmm. I was so angered. I was like, if that was my child, what would I do? Mm -hmm. I don't even know what I would do. My God, jail. Now I'm going... I, 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 I don't even know how to pretty it up. I don't know how to hide it. My temper. And 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 giving the child a bus assassin, you I, know. I would go jail. <laughs> CL is saying it's about time. It's, it looks like it's time to take them on an island I vacation yeah, where yeah, parents yeah. can give them yep. a proper bus assassin. Yeah. But, but at this point, come. at this point, this child is past that. And it's not just anger because if you're angry to that Morning. point it means that you have things that you need to address L listen to that me. is not just i see my broke up that's not just a rude picnic that's a that's a sick child i don't think i could contain my anger because as he's re it, did you see the level of destruction i saw it i don't think i could contain that's what I'm my saying. anger it's i think i would normal. lash out i may tell you something when, uh, uh, yeah. You want to show, yeah, show the video? We're, we're going to show the video to you guys. So please jump onto the app and um, and look at this. Listen to the mother, too.
so so for those people who are who are listening Do you hear the the, the, yes. the, 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 the sobbing the countertop the refrigerator the every everything mash up the bathroom, the bathroom. no sir but the everything bedroom. dragged down it's like him just walk and just pull as he's going down um, like he has a sledgehammer breaking yes. up the place. Or a baseball bat. So that's a something. TV mashup. Mm-hmm. TV. All the clothes. Take no, a baby bag. This <laughs> man is possessed. Wait a while. The cheers. Look at that. Look at everything. Everything. It looks like there's a baby in the look house. The big too. gash in the hole. Yeah, a good big, big it gash in the hole. Like the baby crib. Everything. Everything okay, the sink, the the, ba- the toilet bowl, the toilet bowl, the toilet bowl, oh mash up God. all the mirrors. Well, of course, oh my God. Mm. <laughs> diamond walk on. So, oh my God, and it continues mm-hmm. on and on. That's in our bedroom. The one TV mounted. No, sir. That's what that is. That that's her computer. It's to my job. <laughs> oh my oh my God. God. That looks like a computer. Oh, looks like a computer. Imagine that's a computer. computer. Over the job. baby monitor. Over the baby baby crib. Oh my goodness. So who pay all them damages here now? She, I mean, she, nobody can. Insurance or anything can compensate for it, can it? I, I I don't know, but obviously this child is sick. Um, so this child has he has issues, and so we saw this under the auspice of it being a twelve-year-old child, right? Um, who out of anger from having his phone taken away from him by his mother, mm-hmm. got through the house like the like the um, what you call it? Hurricane, we, we call Hurricane it, 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 Gilbert, it, 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 Tasmanian devil. Ooh. I just got you and mash up the whole place. Right. But, but we got an update though. Yes, you, you do we have some an update, update, right? And, um, at Kiba, Kiba, there's another video. I don't know if everybody saw this video, but this video came out last night. All right. So look at this one. If it, by the way, guys, if you're not on the app, please, in order yeah. for you to see and yeah. engage and be a part of the full experience, we're going to invite you yeah. to download the Soundchat Radio app. It is free so that you can see you can and see hear everything. Videos. Yeah. Um, so I guess everybody's saying they want to know who it is. Okay, so now you know it's me. It's me. It's my son. It's my house. No, he's not 12. It wasn't over a cell phone. Um, he's 15, he's six foot tall, and he's 270 pounds, so no, I couldn't spank him. Um, the de- you know, we try to clean up as much, but yeah, the damage is real. The window is still broken out. <laughs> to, the marble is still broken, not going away immediately. So, I don't know what anybody wants from me. My son is mentally ill. Um, I've dealt with this for 15 years, <laughs> and... It just sucks that I trusted someone and they sent the video out and now everyone is looking at my hurt. Um, So I guess everybody's saying they want to know who it is. Okay, so now you know it's me. So Sherry, you know, so yeah, so he's 15 years old. He's mentally ill, six foot three. I have one. My son is not mentally ill. Thank you, Jesus. And in God's name, he never will be. But I I have one of those 15 year old six foot three at 15 year old mm. you know so and it's hard to control a child that age especially when they're in a rage but mentally ill now the part that struck me is she gave that video to someone that in she confidence trust. yes you see how in people confidence stay? in distress clearly and in confidence and somebody made that leak somebody made that leak that person is a I sorry that you, you must know something like this going to go viral. You must know you put it out there. <sighs> you know what, CL? Usually, usually I agree with your statements. That one I can't agree with. You know why? Because if beating a child, illness. beating a child cannot help them if they have an issue. I remember, you know, there's there there there's sicknesses. There's actual sicknesses out there. Okay. And and today, as we going to 
um, Holistic Thursday, we are talking about autism. But, you know, Kiba, Kiba uh, myself and Stacey are going to talk more about this video before we share some tips and, and just some information about autism, uh, which we're not sure if autism is what he is experiencing. And, and you know what? It's just by design mm. that this video has come up mm. because this is a theme that we had planned from last week. So, so you here, know? here's my take on it. CL, I'm not totally dismissing what you're saying. Because I come from the old school where it's like, now some me I broke up that picnic then. Me, I broke him up. Okay, with that said, the child is 15 years old, six foot three, it's 270 pounds. That's a big picnic that, you know. Mm -hmm. Obviously, you see the strength of him by the, the damage. Yeah, of somebody, yeah, we yeah. cannot inflict the amount of damage that he has done. Do I say that we use um, mental illness to cloud everything yes do i think it's a crutch for a lot of things yes do i think in some cases people want to go drip up yes do i think in many cases that uh they use adhd and you know other things to to to, to kind of um mask and 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 use as a, yeah, as, you, as an excuse yeah use use it as an excuse and um you know However, in in a I'm gonna say in a case like this, so I'm just taking everything for face value as what's shared by this mother. Mm. She says she's been dealing with this for ten years, which means that it's a mental illness. Now I know personally um, a neighbor, and I don't really want to call them out, but anybody who knows where 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 I live, where I where I grew up, knows we have a, we had a neighbor mm. um, whose son was autistic and and autism was not a, a fancy thing in jamaica we just know he couldn't go to school you know whatever mm -hmm. there are times we as neighbors had to go assist her um with certain things unfortunately he passed away was he and violent when he got older but he didn't realize what he was doing you know mm -hmm. he just he was pent up and he couldn't speak. Just think about the fact that you're trying to express yourself and you can't express yourself. There are ways in which that it manifests. There was and sometimes violence is, 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 is something. There was, another, there was another incident that happened um, inside of, uh, I don't know if it was BJ's or Costco. Mm -hmm. You saw it? With the child that he was up on the, you know how they have the big screen TVs up high on the, like the, the, like the, like the display? And they had about a dozen TVs, and the child just walk and just boop, bash them over, and and as kick them over, kick them over, kick them over, and you hear the parents and you hear the staff people are like, are they trying to talk him down? But in his case, and I was enraged when I saw it. When I saw him pushing and kicking off the TV, like, oh, watch that seventy-five inch, boop, flip it over, ninety-inch TV, flip it over. But then you realize that that child truly. Mm -hmm. was mentally ill he was not uh, he was truly i don't know if it was autism i don't know what he was but you could see and i think one of the, the um the, the store um employees was like was calling him king kong like i don't know if he thought right. he was king okay, kong or whatever okay. and he was like come on we want to help you king kong or come king kong come you know like he was trying to talk to him mm -hmm. talk him down in a nice way mm -hmm. in in his turn so with, with, with things like that i understand but sometimes do you not think that bad behavior is masked as mental illness? I, I think so. I think so. But, you know, as I say, I'm only I can only talk to this particular um, situation. I can only, you know, accept what this mother is saying. If this is something that she's been suffering with for 10 years, I don't think the calmness that she has, I kind of believe her. It's like, okay, this is my child. What do I do? Do I lock him up or do I you deal with the everyday, you know, um, you know situations? Um, she hasn't come to terms with giving him up as yet. Right, but she's, gonna she's have going to have to. No, she's going to. This video is going to force her to because they're going to go and take him. Yeah. She's not going to have a choice. I've worked with kids that has autism. Mm -hmm. And right now my mom is teaching at a school with kids that have autism. Mm, God bless and her. she just started um, just a week. And she came home and she's like, oh, I feel like I have a concussion because one of the kids, he bucked me. I said, excuse me, what? She mm. said, that, and, that's, and that's the thing. You never know. And I was like, 
um she's like there he is the other day when i went to pick her right up. and they're the sweetest they look, kids they too look, he looks so normal yeah he don't know what he's doing but in book in our in our ears and i've seen just, trust me i've you seen know, you some never situations know. my cousin's son has autism and he never speaks mm-hmm. and even though at the time we were like oh she never did this properly mm-hmm. but a lot of things lead to autism that right. a lot of people don't understand. And one of those many things is circumcision. Oh, circumcision. for real? Yes, because um, a couple of years hmm. ago when I was um, is, doing is, some is reading. That, is that medically ratified? Yeah. Ooh. Because what they're I've saying, that, remember, that. you know, when you're burning the foreskin, it shocks the baby's brains. I don't know that. Never heard that I, before. I've never heard that before. So, 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 all right. right so, a doctor told me this and they told my mom not to circumcise my brother. All right. So, listen, it's 733. Since, since we've gone there, um, I wanted to wait a little bit later. But since we've gone there, first of all, let us talk about what it is. So, it's a developmental disorder of a variable severity that is characterized by difficulty in social interaction mm-hmm. and communication and by restricted or repetitive patterns of thought and behavior. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So some of the signs in young children is not responding to their name, avoiding eye contact, mm-hmm. not smiling when you smile at them, getting very upset if they do not like a certain taste, smell, or sound. Repetitive movements such as flapping their arms, flicking their fingers, or rocking their bodies. Mm-hmm. Not taking, um, as not talking, sorry, as much as other children. Mm-hmm. Repeating the same phrases over and over. Now, when they get older, the signs of autism in older children include not seeming to understand what others are thinking or feeling. So they're they're not empathetic towards you. They don't realize that you're hurting, for instance. Um, finding it hard to say how they feel, Mm -hmm. they can't express themselves. Mm -hmm. Liking a strict daily routine and getting very upset if it changes. So it's like their only way of mode is make sure that things are regimented. You wake them up, you take them to the bathroom, they have their shower, they put their their clothes on, they probably have a favorite breakfast. If that goes out, they might go off. Mm -hmm. If you don't have the cereal that they like, it might be a problem. So they like that routine. Um, likely, sorry, having a very keen interest in certain subjects or activities, which they might be like smart at mathematics, Mm -hmm. but then they don't have, you know, they're not good at English, you know? So these are some of the things. Finding it hard to make friends or preferring to be on their own. They don't want to mix. Taking things very literally. For example, they may not understand phrases like break a leg. They might think, okay, go literally break a leg. You know, and we could go on, but these are just some of the um, the things that we have to look out for because a lot of people really don't understand. That's why parents are protective of their children when they do have autism because they know that these they understand that these children are not deciphering things mm-hmm. on the same level that everybody else is, and people are gonna judge them. Wow, yep. um, Kiba, yeah. uh, you, you know, not that adult. Yeah. I just like to, you know. But I am looking up the uh, Journal of Royal Society of Medicine and many other medical journals. And there is something that says ritual circus- circumcision and risk of autism spectrum disorder in zero to nine year old boys. There have been several studies. There's one in Denmark here that says, based on convergent observations in animal clinical tests, it was hypothesized that there's a possible impact of ritual circumcision on the subsequent risk of autism um, disorder. So it's not totally, it's not totally factual, but it's not being, it's not dismissed as rubbish. That there is some correlation. Wow, anyway, on an aside, um, Mm -hmm. you know, uh, uh, truly autistic, it's like anything else that um, we need to take serious. Yeah. Oh yeah. But it's also abused. People mask bad behavior yeah. as mental yeah. abuse. Yeah. We, the we, only when thing people, though, when people right. murder and kill and think we say, oh, they're not gonna say a mental disorder. They're not gonna get what we did. They're not gonna say it's mental abuse. You know, we uh, they, we find that things default to to this, and you know, it makes it, it builds for skepticism in some 
areas. Right. I, I agree with you um, somewhat. There are, though, these um, peculiar um, characteristics of autism mm -hmm. that um, would, make, would make legitimate argument mm -hmm. for the reactions to it. And somebody who is autistic don't just get up and just go kill somebody. You know what I'm saying? Sure. It's 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 a pattern of behavior that is 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 visible um, over time. You may not know yeah. something, and you go put something out of out of that routine for that child, so and they called... don't even realize whatever. It's like a disruptive um, act, and you now become a target. A target those automatically. Are called, those are called triggers. Triggers, yes. yes. Yeah, those are called triggers because some a lot of them noise triggers them. My cousin's son, noise triggers him. So he always wear earphones and he always has a phone. So that mom taking that kid's phone, you may never know that that was his trigger. So maybe she, they were arguing in the house and he took, you get what I'm she saying? She took the phone and he, then. She took the phone from him mm. and that triggered him. And, and you know what? I do understand, you know, mm -hmm. because in Jamaica, I've never had, even my neighbor, Nobody ever pinpointed that it was aut autism that he had, but it was autism. Because Jamaica didn't, at the time, they never... And it's kind of like a recent development, because they have been talking about this. You know, now, if we're going to go off on a tangent, um, there are schools of thoughts out there mm -hmm. that says, um, and, and they have studies that show that autism shows up mostly in black communities. Yeah. There are people who also have um, different conversations and, 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 and talk about this. They're having these conversations right now that it is directly linked to um, injections that we get. Um, yeah. what, what do you call these uh, vaccines, vaccines and uh -huh. et cetera, mm -hmm. that they think it is induced and it is something that is, is targeting black communities. We don't know. Mm -hmm. What we do know is that it is a reality in our community. Um, we need to know more about it. We need to understand. And we need to empathize with parents. I'm telling you, it's it's a second job. It's like a job yeah. to rear a child oh, yeah, who has autism. And not all, because remember, some of them are very reclusive. Yeah. But that within itself, you have to find a way to reach your child. Yeah. You have to make sure that they're seeing counselors. You have to make sure that they're being validated. You have to make sure that you're understanding their patterns. You're, you have to understand how to communicate with them because if they're not talking about things that they need, they can't say. If somebody's molesting them, they don't know how to express that yeah. to you. So it's a second job just to 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 um to 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 rear uh, to grow a child yeah. and and socialize them find ways to 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 help them to find those tools mm. to cope with 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 um with society because mm. if something happens god forbid and you pass away mm. here is your child that you've been protecting yeah. all of your life they're out there it's as if they're babies right. living in a world of no, they strangers are babies. they are babies well, uh, my heart goes out to that parent because boy, may I tell you the whole smash up. But I don't know how who compensates her. Um, how, if how? he has Ill insurance, it, she'll get com compensated. And 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 you never know. The state might be in charge of that child, but he still lives with his mom, because they have these programs. The, yeah. the non-profit organizations. I used to work with them. Um, there is nobody that have more money than them kids. Yeah, because they, they do, they Literally, go the extra mile. They yeah. have the various therapies. You yeah. got to go. It's like, you know, a soccer mom? Mm. Yeah. yeah. You have to, because you have to keep them engaged. You have to keep them stimulated. You have to, you know, help them to, to be, to socialize more. Yeah. So a whole lot goes into it when a parent is fully engaged and yeah. does have the, the time or the resources or the information to deal with um, an autistic child. And for all those, you know, parents, listen, call us and, and you know, share yeah. your story right now, you know. We're gone past the point where people look at things and stigmat yeah. you know, stigmatize these situations. No, we're at a point where we're learning, yeah. we're evolving, and and we're sympathizing and empathizing oh, definitely. with with, I've, with I've, mothers I've and fathers out we, there who are yeah. dealing with this. So please, yeah, the autism call is not, and not share a one your story. Thing, no, where you're like, oh, that's strange, you know? Right? Um, yeah, w w and that's that's sad because I don't remember the frequency of anything like this growing yeah. up i don't remember this many autistic children i don't, I don't remember you know what 
because they never diagnosed them. Right. It in Jamaica, I remember it's this um this lady on the news. I don't remember her name. I think it's Maya Chin. Her okay. child was autistic. Born with, and she went hard like but to you get know recognition what, for it. To Stacey's point, and I think this is why the argument is out there, it was not as prevalent because yeah. now I'm seeing so many no, children who are autistic mm-hmm. versus back then. Yeah, even even if it wasn't diagnosed, even somebody yes. could meet with those characteristics. The characteristics was like not that. common as it is now. No, autism was not that common. Alzheimer's was not that common. Mm-hmm. It's a fact that more people, I mean, there are more elderly people The frequency now too. has so, definitely I mean, escalated. Yeah, definitely. Mm-hmm. Definitely. <sighs> well, guess what? My girl Guys, had to give up her son. I spoke to her the other day and I saw her and I was like, hey, where are you going? And I was like, because I didn't speak to her for a while. So mm-hmm. I was like, hey, come, let me take you where you're going. And I was like, how's the baby? And she's like, he, you know, he's 13. He doesn't live with me anymore. And I was like, huh? She's like, yeah, I had to give him up. She just could not take care of him. She, and you can see that it's taken a toll on her, but she had to. Wow. His behavior changed, but I knew his behavior was changing because they do, they do stuff when they're when they're. Of course. Mm-hmm. They, yeah. they the stuff they watch on their phone, they're reenacting them. You get what I'm saying? Mm. Okay, mm. so you have to be careful. You gotta be careful they, because you give as them these as I said, they're li- very literal. Yeah. Very literal. So now, so we talk about children. Now, mm-hmm. let me explain to you now. I'm explaining this is first and to somebody that I know. When autism persists and this person gets to adulthood, mm-hmm. you think say it bad yet? Listen to me. They will want to hold on their mother and rape them. Yeah. Because they are having the human feelings. Yeah. They are yearning sex. Yeah. They don't know what it is. They don't know. All they want is whatever they don't know they're doing something wrong so you have to be careful if you have nurses around them make sure that it's male nurses you know if it's a male child you know females make sure that it's a female nurse who is not going to take advantage of that child either because they have sexual feelings too and you have to figure out how you're gonna deal with that Mm -hmm. this conversation is no, he's like, he's like, I'm oh, telling you, these are some serious things that are that, that it's happening out yeah. there. But if you're not in a family that this is your reality, mm. yeah. you're not even thinking about it. Like, yeah, like right. this is a human emotion. This is a human reaction. What happens when this happens? Yeah. And I, have- I know of a mother who literally she tries to give her son lotion and books. And I'm saying to her, this to me is feeding perversion. But I do get what she's saying. She's like, I don't know what to do because if I don't do that, I don't know what's going to happen. And she says he doesn't know what to do. She's literally saying to him, this is what you need to do, showing him how to masturbate. Wow. Yes, he is a grown man. Wow. Think about it. They how do, do it. you deal with this? They do it everywhere, even in the homes. They yes. Buy them the stuff. They, they don't teach them, but they buy them the stuff to... And hoping that they will I figure mean, it out. it's human. It's human. And if they can't figure what? it out, you as a mom or a nurse or somebody, you know, might have to be the one to do yeah. that. If they have the tendency, they want a relief and they will hold you down and rape you. Yeah. Well, wow. I've seen I've seen a lot of stuff and I've heard a lot of stuff. But as you know, there are HIPAA laws where I can't really say what I've right. seen. Right. So um, I just got to just smile it's 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 serious it's serious i want it i would love to talk but i cannot listen guys um this is a serious one um it is holistic thursday you know that is morning vibe you know that we're going there we're going we're going for the hard topics that people don't discuss Mm -hmm. on this platform because that's what sound chat radio is about we inform through our conversation we entertain through our music and with that said